Escape Room kicks off 2019 with the first horror movie of the year. There's a lot to unpack from this movie's puzzling plot and throughout this video I'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about the film and its ending. There will of course be heavy spoilers here, so if you don't want to know anything about the movie then I highly suggest that you turn off now. But for everyone else, I'm Definition and welcome to the channel where I ruin it so you don't have to. The film follows six complete strangers made up of Zoe, Mike, Amanda, Ben, Danny and Jason. The characters really could not be more different than one another and their job roles range from financial executive to military personnel. However, they decide to come together and participate in the escape room due to the cash prize that comes with clearing it and the fact that they were gifted it by a loved one that was close to them. Each room has been specifically designed with one of the characters in mind and they all have elements within them that will mess with the characters on a psychological level. These elements force the characters to look within themselves and at their past and some of the aspects within the rooms influence them in different ways. By the end of the film we learn that the rooms were in fact designed by an extremely powerful corporation. We discover that the entire game is being live streamed to wealthy individuals who have placed bets on who will survive and who won't. This holds extra weight when we learn that the characters in the room are actually all sold survivors themselves. Zoe is the sole survivor of a plane crash that killed her family, which is why the aeroplane appears on a coffee mug in her room. Amanda, who is ex-military, survived an attack on a convoy which caused her to have third degree burns which links into the fire in the room designed for her. Ben was a drunk driver and the song that he was listening to is branded on the key for his room. Jason was stranded at sea and had to murder his friend in order to fight hypothermia which involved taking a red jacket from him to stay warm. In the freezing cold room we see another character wear this jacket and it of course has been placed there in an attempt to trigger Jason. It's also in this room that Danny dies and we learn that he was a survivor of carbon monoxide poisoning, hence the room that has this aesthetic later in the movie. Unfortunately Danny doesn't make it this far and the rest of the survivors are slowly killed off one by one until all we are left with is Zoe, Jason and Ben. Zoe splits up from the two and ends up in a room that is being filled with carbon monoxide which obviously links to Danny. Ben and Jason end up in a drug infused room which causes them to scramble for an antidote in which Ben becomes the winner. Ben then becomes trapped in the final room and is informed that no one actually survives these rooms and that the entire run has been solely for entertainment purposes. Purposes. We learn that this is not the first time that an experiment like this has been done and there have been several escape rooms in the past that have preceded this one including ones involving people from all walks of life. This one was deemed to be the most interesting as mentioned earlier they are all sole survivors but in the past they've used athletes and just a general range of the public. Just as things look like they are over for Ben, Zoe returns. It turns out that she managed to find a gas mask in the room ceiling, similar to how they descended on the airplane crash that she survived. Ben and Zoe manage to escape the room and make it to a hospital where they inform police. However, it's too late and we discover that all of the items from the rooms have been completely removed and whoever was behind this entire thing has left no trace. We then flash forward a couple of months to see that Ben and Zoe are now an item. Similar to the survivors from Saw, Ben has used the event to empower himself and live a positive life whereas Zoe wants revenge. She has discovered that the corporation behind the escape room is called Minos and has located their headquarters and wants to go and stop them. It seems like she's finally going to put an end to them but we in fact learn that the corporation is aware of this and has been planting seeds the entire time to lead them to this conclusion. We watch the corporation preparing an escape room for the two which shows that they not only let Zoe find find out their location, but they are once again turning this into a big game. It's a genius closer for me and shows just how far ahead the Minos Corporation are ahead of them strategically. Hopefully we will see this come to fruition in a sequel as I can't wait to see what the corporation have in store for the characters. I love this film and it kicks off the year with a bang. So what were your thoughts on Escape Room? Did you enjoy it and what do you hope to see in a sequel if one ever gets made? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and check out my breakdown of this week's other big event, Black Mirror Bandersnatch, which will be linked at the end. This is a channel for people who are heavy into horror, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.